stuck with a Mac that just won't boot, black screen, spinning wheel of death, and to make things worse, you only have a Windows computer to fix it? Sounds like a tech nightmare, right? Most people think you need a working Mac to create a Mac OS bootable USB. It's like needing a key to make a key. Conventional wisdom says you're stuck. But what if I told you that's completely wrong? What if you could actually rescue your bricked Mac using your Windows PC? Sounds impossible. It's not. And in this video, I'm going to show you the shockingly simple step-by-step -step method to create a bootable Mac OS USB installer. Right here on Windows, we're talking Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, or any Mac OS you need. What you'll need in this tutorial is a Windows 10 or 11 computer that is connected on the internet. A 16 gigabyte USB flash drive if you're going to use Mac OS Monterey or older version, and 32 gigabytes if you're making Mac OS Sonoma, or later, a disk image file of Mac OS, then TransMac software to restore it on the USB. But there's a caveat. If you're going to make the USB bootable for El Capitan or older, this method won't work. Otherwise, continue watching. Alright, we need to get your USB drive ready. First, plug in a USB drive into the computer. Everything on it will be erased, so back up anything important. Now we need to make sure your USB is formatted correctly for Mac OS. We're going to convert it to GPT partition scheme. Why GPT? Because Macs love GPT. Think of it as speaking the same language. Click on the start button, then search for CMD. You will need to open command prompt as administrator. On that window, type in disk part and hit enter. Next, list disk to see your disks. Carefully identify your USB disk number. In my case, it's the one with 29 gigabytes capacity and the number is disk one. Double check you've got the right one. We don't want to accidentally wipe your hard drive. Now, select disk, then your disk number. For me, that's select disk one and hit enter on your keyboard. The next command would be clean. This will wipe the drive that we selected. The next one is convert GPT, then press enter. This will convert the drive into GPT partition scheme. Finally, type in create partition primary. And just like that, your USB is GPT ready. You may now close the command prompt window since we're done with it. Let's identify first which Mac you have. I have a table of every Mac device. You can pause the video and locate which one is yours. Then let's focus on the initial Mac OS version and the last supported Mac OS version. This is critical since your Mac cannot boot from a Mac OS version older than what it originally came with. Version compatibility is key. For example, this MacBook Pro 2012 model that came with Mountain Lion and later was supported until Monterey. Now you have an idea which to download a DMG file compatible with your Mac model. Where can we download the Mac OS DMG or disk image file? Apple officially offers older versions, but for the latest like Sonoma, you might not find it directly from their website. They have limited DMG files to choose from. They only have DMG files for Sierra until up to Lion versions. That's where the Internet Archive comes in. It's a treasure trove. You can find DMG files for almost every Mac OS version there. Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, you name it. Now all you have to do is choose your preferred Mac OS version. You can directly download the DMG file, no registration required, depending on your internet connection and the file size. It may take some time to download the DMG file. On Google, search for TransMac. This is your Mac OS bootable USB maker for Windows. Download the tmsetup.zip and do the straightforward installation on your Windows PC. You may need to extract the zip file and run the setup.x afterwards and go through with the installation process of it. Uncheck the Run TransMac option after the installation. Make a right click on the TransMac icon on the desktop, then run it as administrator. It's paid software, but they give a 15 day free trial. More than enough for this task. This is where the magic happens. Now in TransMac, find your USB drive in the left pane. Right click on it and choose Restore with Disk Image. Click Yes when it prompts you. Navigate to where you downloaded your Mac OS DMG file, select it, and click Open. TransMac will now start creating your bootable USB drive. This will take some time because DMG files are big and depending on the transfer speed of your USB flash drive, so grab a coffee, be patient. One hour later. Once the restoration is done, you can now close TransMac and safely eject your USB drive from the lower right of your taskbar. And Congratulations! You have a bootable Mac OS USB drive 
made entirely on Windows. Final round. Booting your Mac and starting the Mac OS install. There are different ways to do this depending on which Mac you're using, Intel or M series. I will start with the Intel based Mac. Plug your USB into your Mac and turn it on. Press and hold the Option button on your keyboard while it's booting. If you have a non-Apple keyboard, that will be the Alt button. Once you successfully did it, you will now be able to see the external USB flash drive from the Startup Manager screen. This screen displays all available bootable volumes, including your internal hard drive and any connected external drives. Use the arrow keys or your mouse or trackpad to select your external USB drive from the list of bootable volumes. Once selected, press the Return or Enter key, or click on the arrow below the USB drive icon. Your Mac will now start booting from the selected USB drive. This might take a little longer than booting from your internal drive, especially if it's a USB 2.0 drive or the external drive is slower. Be patient and wait for the operating system or utility on your USB drive to load. You will be booting into the recovery environment afterwards. Booting from USB on Apple Silicon Macs. Press and hold down the power button until you see the startup options screen. Do not just tap the power button. You need to hold it down for a few seconds. After holding the power button, you will see the startup options screen. This screen will show your internal drive and any connected external bootable drives. It might also offer options, which leads to recovery. Your external USB bootable drive should be listed here. Use your mouse or trackpad to select your external USB drive from the list of bootable volumes. Once you've selected your USB drive, click the Continue button or press the Return or Enter key. Depending on your security settings, you might be prompted to select a user and enter their administrator password to authorize booting from the external drive. Follow any on-screen prompts. Your Mac will now begin booting from the selected USB drive. Again, be patient as it may take a moment to load. Click the Continue button to proceed with the installation process and agree on the agreement prompt. Then select your Macintosh hard drive to initiate the installation. If the authentication pops up again, just type in your password for that user account. Have a sip of coffee while waiting. It may reboot several times until you're greeted with the welcome screen. General tips for both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. Use a reliable USB drive. Not all USB drives are created equal. Some older or slower drives might be less reliable for booting. Use a reputable brand and a reasonably fast USB drive. USB 3.0 or faster is recommended. USB port type. For faster booting, especially on Macs with USB 3 or Thunderbolt ports, use a USB drive and port that support these faster standards. And that's it. You've just learned how to create a Mac OS bootable USB drive using Windows, rescuing your Mac from the digital depths. So if your Mac is acting up, don't panic. With a Windows PC and this guide, you can get it back on track. Did this video help you rescue your Mac? Let me know in the comments. Smash that like button if this was a lifesaver. And for more tech tips and tricks, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.